one of the most important questions that comes to one's mind is that after all if a network has been established and it is providing some kind of service is that all the answer is the most important thing that a network is supposed to perform is to give services but it has to stay affordable that is one of the interesting topics we would like to cover in this module we'd look at its formal definition then we'll see it from the network's perspective and shall look at a way to assess it in a more quantitative way so affordability is actually the measure of the cost relative to the amount that the system is willing to pay for it of course the system could be human beings themselves or the network being deployed to achieve certain serviceability formally a network application becomes affordable if and only if its implementation translates into the network parameters and resources in such a way that the computational load and the communication overhead is within the bounds while maximum utility is achieved out of it this could be applicable to wired networks and wireless networks for instance take the example of wireless networks if the cost of access point that connects multiple host computers together becomes exceedingly unaffordable to achieve data rates of say 54 megabits per second so a little inconvenient could be afforded and these hosts could be connected on wired lans of course on wired lans 100 megabits per second could be achieved but the mobility shall be constrained so the trade off that comes with the full affordability is some kind of compromise in its serviceability if you look at this figure you can imagine it in two ways the outer octagon actually shows parameters which vary according to the network applications and uses for example the services that the network is providing the devices that is supposed to use its serviceability or the longevity for which it is going to serve the users the time it takes to implement the functionality the computational and otherwise technical complexity to realize this network the ease with which the users shall be using it the total number of users that it can afford and last but not the least the volume and the amount of traffic that it can support instantaneous or at the peak peak rate or the lowest or averaged say over a certain time period now all these factors grouped together would affect affordability actually these define affordability if you look at the outer octagon it is basically the upper limit or the bound which determines affordability the inner octagon is the utility what you want is that the inner octagon does not spill over the outer octagon this can only happen with a better design the relationship between utility and affordability can be represented in the form of an integer linear program which is a constraint problem that is if you want to maximize the utility functions that we have just seen we must define them as parameters and their weighted sum would give us the utility drawn from the whole network we want to maximize that but at the same time we have to respect the constraints which are put in by the affordability that is all these parameters would be limited in terms of their affordability individually so with their weighted representation if we sum them up all together we'll get the upper bound on affordability which has to stay below what the users or the network providers 
would support. So using this relationship, we can think of drawing a parallel or a relationship with what we have seen as the outer and the inner octagons. 